what's wrong with chocolate is it non spiritual see the only thing that you need to relinquish is your unawareness the only thing the only and only thing that you need to relinquish is your unawareness because that is the source of all ignorance poor chocolate what did it do for many people that's the only pleasure they have in their life you want to take that away please don't do such things the reason why most thinking people in the world people who are capable of thumb coherent thought they all have allergy for spirituality is simply because this kind of spirituality was spread if you want to be spiritual you should not eat properly if you want to be spiritual you should not dress properly if you want to be spiritual you should not stand on two legs one should one leg should be standing another should be pointing at the sky they set such conditions these conditions are just highly egoistic see somebody never had the urge to eat a chocolate so he did not eat chocolate that's different you giving up chocolate doesn't make you any spiritual now if i don't eat a chocolate for 10 years i will not think about it but if there's a chocolate in front of me i will be the last person to hesitate eating it <laughs> what's the problem because chocolate is not going to take away my spirituality if my spirituality is so fragile that a chocolate can take it away will it take me through life and death yes if my spirituality is so fragile that a piece of chocolate can take it away how to pass through death aware you can do whatever you want but every action you do has a consequence suppose you go on a chocolate diet you know what happens <laughs> so that will happen it's got nothing to do with spirituality but other things will happen so if you go on whiskey instead of water then what has to happen will happen now you are not in that condition you are not in that level of heightened awareness where you can be totally drunk and still be 100% aware you are not in such a condition even without a drink you are unaware <laughs> isn't it even without a drink you are unaware when that's in your condition i think it's better you don't drink there are people you know there are yogis certain types of yogis tantrics they drink you know full full bottles of rum and whiskey on a daily basis have you seen them simply and you will never see him in any way intoxicated he'll be perfectly alert he becomes more and more alert as he drinks now he is put in years and years of sadhana he's put his whole life into that and now he is testing himself out he wants to drink two full bottles of whiskey and still stay alert absolutely aware there are people like that you are not in that condition so don't take that path usually people who try this if 100 people try this kind of path 99 people just become drunkards one person may pass may pass if he has the right kind of guidance around him so when your condition is such that even without intoxication you're not aware you cannot afford intoxication and become even less aware isn't it you cannot afford it is whiskey against spirituality whiskey is not against spirituality and awareness is against spirituality with whiskey you are becoming unaware so whiskey is against spirituality understand if you could be aware it's okay 
instead of going on wine, it's better to go on the wine, you know. <laughs> it gets you really drunk, so drunk, all the time drunk, but still you can be wide awake, no hangovers. All the time I'm drunk, never a hangover and it doesn't cost anything <laughs> and it's available in unbounded proportions. 